more like that. The specimen almost didn't make it back in one piece. As it stands, they will be very sensitive to sound. So we should keep our voices low. The important thing is that it didn't give off a noticeable signal. Oh, I almost forgot about the specimen. We are not human. We are perfectly safe. We have no intention of harming you. And we'll be letting you out of the teleport momentarily. We just... need to ensure that you will cooperate first. We would rather not resort to strapping you to a table or keeping you in a cell. That prevents us from seeing your natural behavior so close. So, if you promise to not resort to violence, we'll let you out of that glass tube. Do keep in mind that the violence wouldn't work against us anyway. We have personal defense matrices. But, there is sensitive equipment in here that we would rather not have to replace. So, do we have a deal? Excellent. Let me just... I can't believe we're finally getting to see one up close. It looks smaller than I pictured. Do you think that's typical? Who cares? It's adorable. Alright, let's not overwhelm it. The brain scan suggests it's feeling... agitated. There is no need to be concerned, human. The only reason we've brought you onto our ship is to perform a few simple tests on you. Non-invasive tests. No probes or surgeries or anything like that. Honestly, we just kind of want to experience a human. We are what you might call the anthropologists. We... Research alien sapient life. Humans in particular have captured our imaginations. But reading about humans is just too impersonal. Same with watching them through a long distance telescope. It's not the same as being in a room with one. Communicating with a primitive species is considered unprofessional. But We've decided that one little interaction couldn't hurt. And it was definitely worth it. I mean, just look at you. That patch of fur on the top of your head. Your cute, stubby little fingers. If it were ethical, I'd absolutely want a human like you as a pet. I disagree. I find humans more graceful and noble than cute. Those long. Slender legs and piercing eyes are a sight to behold. Either way, we're both very excited about this. You're such a unique species, and this might be our only chance we have to speak with you. But before we do anything else, let's be sure to do a brief examination to make sure this human is in good condition. Good point. Everything looks fine according to the scanners, but how do you feel, human? Anything out of sorts? Good. Could you please try walking back and forth a bit? Locomotion is within expected parameters. We've already heard it speak as well. I require only one more test. Do some deep breaths for me, please. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in 
and breathe out. Breathe in. Respiration appears normal. Well, that seems good enough for me. In that case, first, I have a few questions about your language. Right now, you only think we're speaking hmm, English, was it? It's a translation induction field that lets you understand us. But I've been learning some English, and I want to know the definition of some words. Here's one I found out of context. Pineapple. Pineapple. Pineapple? Pineapple. What does it mean, this pineapple? <laughs> we don't have an equivalent on our planet, so the translator doesn't help. Fascinating. I'll add that into our lexicon. Hmm. Pineapple, pineapple, pineapple. I like how it sounds. Ooh, and I found another one in the same place. Coconut. Co-co-nut. Coconut? Hmm. Coconut, coconut, coconut. Coconut. Hmm. What about that one? See? I knew those would all be like life forms. Why else would a translator not have a word for it? Hmm, so wait, if it has milk, then isn't it a mammal? Hmm, you're sure it's a fruit. Cool. I will remember. Coconut. Go, go. Coconut. 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 Now you've got me doing it. There's no shame in it. Join in. These words are fun to say. Let's try some more. Cookie, 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 cookie
We can move on to the part I was curious about. Asking about words is one thing, but there is one thing that a long distance study contemplates, and it's a physical examination of a real mm. life human. Yeah, I wanted to do that too, but I don't really care about the technical stuff. You can get a comprehensive description of how the human body works from a database. I want to know stuff like, what does that hair feel like? Agreed. That has been on my mind as well. However, we will not touch you without your permission, human. Is it alright oh, we feel hey. your hair? Don't worry, we told you that we'd let you go. We won't keep you for much longer. As a matter of fact, we can't really afford to keep you long enough for anyone to notice. We're not gonna force anything on you at all, and you'll be back home really soon. May we assume that means you give us permission? Thank you, human. I promise not to tug on it or otherwise cause your discomfort. It's much softer than I expected. I'm not an expert on such things, but I think this is a sign that you take care of it. Hey, I want to try. Then go ahead. You received permission after all. Oh, it is soft. Can you just stroke? your own hair at any time you want. Really? If I had hair, I'd stroke it all the time. I'm also curious about the texture of your skin. As before, you will only proceed with permission. I would be happy to start somewhere that's less uncomfortable. In the palms of your hands, perhaps? Thank you, human. I'm going to run my finger along your finger. this short stubby one. The thumb, I think it's called. We don't name our fingers. It's an interesting concept. Oh, let me do the other hand. Cute. 
They almost look more like paws than hands, at least compared to ours. Now, along the middle finger. Oh, is the middle finger dangerous? Our research suggests that humans extend it when they're upset. It doesn't secretly spread poison or anything, right? Very interesting. special finger for jewelry. That's a very fun idea. Maybe I should do that. I'm moving along your pinky finger. I think this one is my favorite. You seem to be more relaxed than before. I find some of the features of your face particularly intriguing. May I? These ears are surprisingly pliable. <gasps> they appear rigid from a distance. <laughs> Your cheeks are really squishy. I love it. I'm just going to run my fingers along your forehead and down along your jaw. Let me know if it ever feels uncomfortable. You seem very, very relaxed right now. Is this pleasant? Fascinating. I wouldn't have expected that. This could be an interesting area of research. Could you stop talking about research and just appreciate the fact that we're here with a real life human? I am appreciating it. Is it really so strange that coming in close contact with a human raises more questions in my mind? Tell me, human. Is there anything else like this that you find relaxing? Okay, that is pretty interesting. Finger flutters? So, like this?
we would love to learn more about why humans find this relaxing. I doubt any other human researchers are researching anything like this. Yeah, I bet we could. That's not the proximity alarm, is it? Yup. But we're in deep space right now. We did that specifically to avoid space debris. And to avoid detection. I think maybe that idea didn't work. We have to move. If we are discovered with a human, then we're being in immense trouble. I know that. Take the helm and get us back to Earth, then. Need I remind you, you're the better pilot. You look a little anxious, human. Relax. Nothing bad would ever happen to you. Even if we were caught, this is all on us, unfortunately. Here, let me help you relax again. Was there anything else you find calming? Okay, I can do that. We are approaching Earth. We'll be within teleportation range soon. Alright then. Let's get you back in the telepod. Hmm? Oh. You're worried about us. Oh, it's so sweet. We're very capable of handling ourselves, human. And as soon as we teleported you back home, there will be no proof that we were doing anything uncuff. It's a shame. I wanted to spend a little more time together. Maybe we could come back sometime. I think that might be a risky idea. We were located out here once, so it could certainly happen again. Aw, but don't you want to see our new friend again? Of course I want to. <sighs> Perhaps someday. For now, we're sending you back. Take care. Bye. See you soon. Hopefully. Thank you for listening to our collaboration. If you are still here, please leave a like and a comment. Pink must like the color green after all. Make sure to check out and subscribe to my call of a partner. Dude, that's wholesome. If you don't know her channel for some mysterious reason yet. And don't forget to hit my notification button to not miss my next video. Thank you for all the nice comments 
support and messages on Patreon and for always listening. As always, I want to thank my Patreons for their continuous support, allowing me to work on this channel for all of you. And special thank you this time goes to... Aeotron Andre Augustra Anthony Orlandi Bender Gaming Brandy Corel Camoren Catboy Andrew Chupacabra Fio Naden Daniel Solomon David Shepard Jr. David West Default Official Dominic Fulci Edvin Filthy Degenerate Glenn Tom Junior King Fisher Lord Putano Marty Muscular Simura Prototype 13 Raphael Red Demon Risky Place Sam Dell Spencer Williams Tim Clark Tricky You Kill XXL 